Alright, take one of the Crab Nebula M1 and the Constellation Taurus. We've got it here through a Takashi Mulan 250 telescope running at f9.2. And uh, connected to that is a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier and a Panasonic GH3 camera, which is running at one th set to 1 30th of a second shutter ISO 6400 vivid picture mode. And there's a Litton 1 to 1 relay lens that's connecting the camera to the back of the image intensifier. And you've got a decent definition here of the shape of the Crab Nebula. None of the internal veins or tendrils, but just the overall shape. It kind of looks like two ovals stuck together. They're pointing somewhat vertically, tipped a little to the left. Um, there's sort of a leftish lobe pointing almost up and down, and a right lobe pointing kind of up and down, a little uh, below the left lobe, maybe. Um, the color, that light blue, is due to the, well, it's a phosphor screen color, it's called white phosphor, but it does have a bit of a light blue tint to it. And this is, uh, what did I say, 30, 30th of a second show you, so it's like 30 frames a second, shot in HD. And that's what you get in real time. The crab is probably about 60 degrees off the horizon, so it's getting pretty high in the sky. Looks all right. If I could just get it recentered, come on, dude. Right about there. That's a uh, nebula. That uh, well, it's actually a planetary nebula, although this says diffuse. The remnant of a, an exploded star that blew up. Uh, well, it's a little over a thousand, or about a thousand years ago, eighty ten fifty four. So almost a thousand years old. That's how old this thing is. Not that old, by cosmic standards. So M1, the Crab Nebula, and Taurus, 30 frames a second. Not too bad, with a Panasonic GH3 camera. And a Gen 3 unfilmed image intensifier, white phosphor type. Okay, that's it. From Mount Pinos, California. Now that's it.